In this video we'll be looking at some basic tools and techniques used for DNS enumeration. I'll be using the Queen's University Belfast site as an example, but you can pick a domain of your choice to run these tools against. So before we download and install any new tools to play around with, let's have a look at the basics. In Linux we can run the host command, and let's run host against qub.ac.uk, and you'll see it returns here some of the mail server addresses. If we have a look, let's run host and dash h and get a list of the flags that are available to us here, the options that we can provide. We'll see that one of them is dash t to specify a query type. So if we wanted to query the name servers, let's do ns, and that'll come back with the two different name servers. And you can see here the subdomains Luna and Juno. If we wanted to retrieve specifically the mail servers, we can use mx, and then we'll get back the mail servers here. Uh, and we can do that for any query type. We can use text here as well. and Another command that we can use is dig, so we can run the same these same commands uh, that we ran with the host command. We can run these all with dig as well. And if we wanted to attempt a zone transfer, so for example in this case we've retrieved the Juno and the Luna addresses, we might want to try and transfer the DNS zone using dig AXFR and then we can say qub.ac.uk and we want to try and transfer it to juno.qub.ac.uk and you'll see in this case we've got the transfer failed so if everything's set up properly we shouldn't be able to transfer the zone so that's good. So now let's take a look at some tools that we can install to help us enumerate DNS servers. There's obviously a lot of different tools available and a lot of them will do very similar things so I'm not going to cover them all. I'll cover a couple of the most popular ones and then you can go and research some more in your own time and have a play around with them. The first that we'll be taking a look at is Sublister. So as it says here, Sublister is a Python tool designed to enumerate subdomains using OSINT. It uses a variety of search engines and also some threat intel services and it integrate subroot which is a tool to brute force subdomains using an improved word list. So we can see a screenshot of the program in action here and we have some installation instructions. So we need to clone the git repo, we can use Python 2 or Python 3 and we need to install the dependencies. So I've taken a copy of that, let's clone the repo here. Now I'm using a Python environment as well, I'm going to activate that by n3. Uh, you don't have to do this, it's just if you want to keep your uh, pip packages in one place and not risk messing up your Python install. But if you're inside a virtual machine, don't worry about it anyway. Get this installed, and once we've got the Git repo downloaded, we'll just do pip install dash r requirements.txt, and that's going to install any Python packages which are missing. So you can see now we have this in here, this Python sublister. Let's check it out. Let's run Python sublister and you can see here that it's telling us we need to enter the following argument which is the domain so I'm going to run that again I'm going to pass in dash d qb.ac.uk and you can see that this is starting to run so it's trying to run against these different services which we saw mentioned right here um, it also mentions there that virus totals blocking the requests okay and there it's finished running. So we can now go and scroll through this. Let me go back up to see what's this listed as. Wow, there's a lot of um, subdomains here. Um, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to see so many. You can see there Lanyon, which is one of the buildings at Queen's University Belfast. Um, so you can see how quickly we've picked up there over 21,000, nearly 22,000 unique subdomains um, within a minute of running that test and we would be able to add these targets to our list then for some further enumeration. Let me try and run that again with dash h to see if we get a help. Yeah we do. So we can pass in dash b as well to enable the sub the subroot module, so I guess it wasn't enabled by default in that case. We can also scan specified TCP ports, we can enable ver verbose mode, etc. So let's just out of interest try and run dash b and then I'll do qb.ac.uk again. Oh, we need the dash d for that. 
So it'll be interesting to see whether this comes back with more results. We had nearly 22,000 without the without the brute force module enabled. Okay, so I left that for over 10 minutes and it hasn't come back with anything. So I'm just going to cancel that and let's move on to checking out another tool. So the next tool we'll take a look at is DNS Recon which you can see is a Python port of a Ruby script was written in early 2007 and we can see the list of the things that the script will perform we know that we need Python 3.6 for this so we could clone this repo again and uh, install this with the setup script but I believe we might be able to just install this using apt-get so I'm going to try apt-get install DNS DNS and hit tab and see what options we have here we also have DNS uh, enum or enum which is what I was going to install next, so we can also install that with apt-get. So let's install DNS recon. I've already got it installed, which is awesome, so we'll do DNS recon dash H for help and see what options we have. So we can provide our target domain with D and provide a name server, a range of IPs if we want to if we want to check multiple IPs, we provide a dictionary if we want to brute force the subdomains and host names and we can output these into different formats we can provide the type as well so just like we saw at the beginning when we checked host and dig we can also do that to check the name servers or check the mail servers etc so I'm gonna go ahead and just do DNS recon dash D and then we'll just give it qub.ac.uk see what it runs by default you can see we have the IP address we've come back with some name servers the mail servers, you can see it's coming back with these different records it's enumerated the service records it's worth noting that DNSSEC is not configured for Queens as well which is recommended for protecting DNS servers so we could try and brute force some of those subdomains maybe you want to do that in your own time I'm going to move on now and let's have a look at the DNS enum so let's run help on that and we can see we need to provide the domain and then we can provide these options in between if we want to so let me just try and run it without any additional options we'll just run DNS enum against qub.ac.uk and it's coming back quite quickly wildcard detection, wildcards detected, all subdomains will point to the same IP address Okay. we have our name servers, we have our mail servers it actually attempts the zone transfer like I tried at the beginning with dig and it gets back the same result obviously that it was refused and it's trying to brute force I guess some of the subdomains here as well just while that's running let me mention as well something we can do if you want to look for other tools that might be available on, on apt-get you can run apt cache search and then just search like DNS and I'll bring up a list of all the different DNS options. In fact, you'll see that Sublister was also here as well. So although I installed this with the Git repo at the beginning, and you're more likely to get an up-to-date version with that, you could also do sudo apt-get install and install Sublister that way. And then you'll just be able to run it from the command line. And see with that running, now if I look for Sublister, and we can run it just as we, as we did with the Git version. So the brute force has come back with some domains already, which would be worth investigating then. You would note these down and then throughout the pen test we'll be able to enumerate these further, run scans against them, etc. Um, and look for directories, maybe files that are available, things like that. Um, while that's running, let's go and have a look at DNS dumpster. So rather than installing tools and running them yourselves, you might want to just find some sites, and this is by no means the only site which will allow you to just plug in a domain and check a lot of the stuff that we're checking through the through our tools here so let's see what results this comes back with we get the Luna, we get the Juno servers, we get all the mail records, we get in the text records here as well, the host records um, and so this is coming back with plenty of information so if you don't want to install any additional tools we can even see here it's mapping the domain so we can click here and have a look at the image and see how these domains all map to each other, what the IP addresses are, etc. And finally, I'll just mention that we have some other options. So I would traditionally have used wfuzz when fuzzing subdomains. 
but I think this is just a faster version written in Go rather than in Python or Ruby or whatever WFuzz is written in. The reason I like using tools like this rather than the subdomain specific ones is that this is easily applicable to a variety of scenarios so if you're looking to brute force subdomains or directory names or usernames and passwords or file names that's all easily done with tools like this so if you get to if you get to know the commands well and you get to know how to use the tool then you'll just be able to use it for multiple tasks rather than swapping between different things but obviously this isn't going to do all the same stuff it's not going to retrieve all the same ne name records and stuff that we're doing with the other DNS enumeration tools but just for fuzzing subdomains I think this is a quite a good option and finally I'll just mention that as I've mentioned throughout the video there are way more options than the tools that I've covered in this video so uh, I'll, there's a link here to some recon tools and if we just go and scroll through a little bit see some of the t tools that are available so right here for subdomain enumeration sublister which we covered we also have subfinder which I didn't cover find domain asset finder um, amass census enumeration so there's a lot of different tools here alt DNS mass DNS and then it'll also go into different brute force and tools as well which can can do the same thing so um, go and take a look at some of these tools in your spare time you might find some that are better than some of the ones I've demonstrated in this video but I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video anyway